about Dr. Ben Carson? So CNN recently released an article that basically attacked some things that he'd written in his autobiography. He claimed that he had a violent childhood, that he'd even punched a classmate or a former friend, and CNN is trying to discredit this story, say that he made it up because they can't corroborate or find the person that he allegedly beat up. Um, we, have, we have a tape of this. Let's, let's watch the tape. Mostly, it is about vetting, and it is trying to find out if uh, candidates are fact-based and if they can be trusted and if okay, they're telling done, the truth. Uh, okay, so, so you've done your job, okay? Kudos. So Let's move on. But, okay, but last, does Bob exist? Is Bob a real person? Now, wh why would CNN be trying to discredit something he wrote in his autobiography? He seems like such a good man. What are they trying to accomplish here? Well, you know, it was uh, it was Politico that really kicked this off. And I tell you, this is a left-wing media hit without question. Uh, in this particular situation, when you think about how people grow up in the inner city, I'm from the south side of Chicago. There's a lot of violence. That's just the nature of growing up in poverty, and especially with a mother like his, who didn't know how to read. So you know that you're going to come in, in contact with a lot of different influences. Number one. If CNN was so, or rather Politico, if Politico was so focused on finding out who hit who in someone's childhood, maybe we would have some answers when it comes to Benghazi. Maybe they should really focus on the real issues at hand, like what's going on with national security and any of those other things. Number one, when it comes to Dr. Ben Carson, Dr. Ben Carson has been uh, rated by many polls as the most likable candidate in this race. There was a poll that came out, I believe, this week that showed that if he went head-to-head -head with Hillary Clinton, that he would win the race. There's no question about that. And I believe he was the only candidate on the Republican side at this point that was um, in that same standing. They want to discredit a true conservative in any way, shape, or form or possible. They want to make sure that no one views him as honest or credible. No one is going to especially from the inner city back in those days, are going to say, yeah, Dr. Ben Carson hit me. He's such a well-liked, right. well-mannered individual that, you know, to say, oh, I got beat up by Dr. Ben Carson. I mean, I wouldn't want to be that meme on it's social not, it's media. It's not exactly something to be proud of. <laughs> right. right. It's, not, it's not. But you, you see what level that the press is, what direction the press is taking against conservative candidates, whether it be Dr. Ben Carson, whether it be Donald Trump or any other individual. They do not want to see a conservative, an outsider, win the office of the presidency. They're not going to ask Hillary Clinton these kinds of questions because it doesn't work to their advantage. You saw that when it came to the Democratic debates and any of these other things, which Hillary Clinton clearly did not win, but you're going to continue to see these kinds of attacks on real conservatives. That's just what we're dealing with these days. So in your opinion, we should expect to see this sort of concerted effort against Carson, particularly after polls have shown him winning against Hillary in a head-to-head -head in the general election? There's no question about it. When you have a, a candidate that, that people view as honest and trustworthy, which they don't view Hillary Clinton that way. I mean, let's make a note of that. We all know that. When you have a candidate like that, then you have to take that individual down if you're an activist. So we got like a bunch of activists over at Politico, their editorial staff, which are coming up with things that they can try to pursue and, and figure out how can they attack someone's character, whether it be any news network or Politico or whatever. That's just what we've seen. We saw it with Sarah Palin. We see it with any conservative candidate. They do not want to see conservatives in the White House. Is Carson, is this going to affect Carson's campaign? Is this going to show us how he really responds to attacks from the left, really put him in the spotlight and we'll see his true colors? Is this going to blow over? Is it going to be a mess? What's your opinion? You know what? I, I'm, I'm sure you saw the CNN interview today um, on New Day, and I was very pleasantly surprised by Dr. Carson's response. He went head on. He uh, talked the questions out, and he said, look, you know, when it comes to this issue, um, especially when it came to his book, I'm not going to put folks that may be family or friends in the spotlight because who wants the media going to investigate friends or family and, and try to embarrass them of, this, of the sake of a, a, a political campaign? Um, we saw that Dr. Carson was straight with the facts. He was honest. And he didn't allow the media to paint him in any particular corner. 
So I think that's the Dr. Carson that um, I've been used to seeing over the years, and I think that's the Dr. Carson that I'll continue to see. And I think, I think the American voter appreciate that about his personality, the level he's gone to protect his family and friends, because it's known that one of the worst, one of the most difficult parts of running for office is the attacks that your family and friends receive, the amount of scrutiny that you're under, the total lack of privacy.